up and still I, I was watching morning joe and i was actually no, i wasn't watching i was driving in and it was on sirius uh satellite and i'm listening and y'all should have heard the panel oh uh um uh, the, the, the problem is uh, the voters are just angry. The voters wanted something done. The voters, you know, they thought they thought Obama was going to bring America, America together. Obama couldn't bring America together when on the night the man was inaugurated, the Republicans got together and said, we going to shut everything he wants to do down. We are going to shut it down. We are not going to allow this man to do anything. We are not going to allow this man to pass nothing. We are going to make him a one-term president. We are going to frustrate him to no end. He is going to propose things that we support and we're not even going to back it. They fostered this hatred, this animosity of the Tea Party. They trashed Obama, said he was weak, <clears throat> said he was impotent, said Putin was uh, more of a strong leader than him and and they just just trashed and dogged Obama and didn't want to turn around and say, what happened? What, what happened? All they did, the economy was terrible. Everything was terrible. Everything was bad. Everything is awful. That's all you heard. But I remember when we were losing 800,000 jobs a month. I remember when foreclosure signs were going up all across the country. I remember that. Alice Costalons, we were off air on this week on Sunday. He said, yeah, good luck trying to say uh, uh, America is in a better position today than it was before. I said, we were, we are. We are. We are. We are better today as a nation than we were in 2009. The boy you listen to the nation says everything is bad. And no, I'm not happy we haven't had more job growth, but I would rather have the addition of 100 or 200,000 jobs a month than the loss of 500,000. This is the Roland Martin Show back in the moment. Today, little girls all over the world look to the sky, where the first woman is now in space. Military stereotypes are challenged today with the trailblazing promotion of a U.S. female officer to four-star general. It was just announced that the vast majority of last year's doctorate degrees were earned by women. We've come so far, but our news is changing for the worse. More women die from heart disease and stroke than men, even though it can be prevented. Make a change at GoRedForWomen.org today. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women.
time to get back to the issues that matter. Let's get back to the Roland Martin Show. Welcome back to the Roland Martin Show. Uh, it is um, it, it, it is extremely interesting. Um, it's very interesting watching watching this thing un, un, unveil unfold. Uh, and the reason I find it interesting watching this unfold because. You're watching the blatant contradictions before our very eyes. You're watching so-called evangelical voters go for Donald Trump. 38% of so-called very conservative voters, Donald Trump. Somewhat conservative voters, Donald Trump. Even though Donald Trump supports Planned Parenthood, even though Donald Trump um, has different views about <laughs> uh, gay marriage, about, I mean, it, constant contradiction. So th there is nothing sane, let me say it again, there is nothing sane about what we are seeing. Somebody told me, Roland, you tweeted, Trump didn't have a chance. Right, because I thought Republican voters actually were going to use their brains. I did not think they were going to choose to be brain dead. And then this morning, on Morning Joe, they had a small, a smidgen of a conversation about the real deal of this take our country back, make America great again. And you know what it is? They had a small discussion when they said, These white voters, they want to go back. Because, see, they want to go back to a day when America was great for white people. When America was great for white people. Y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? They want to go back to a period when America was great for white people. See, that, that golden age of America wasn't great for black people. Wasn't great For Latinos, everybody don't nobody want to talk about any of that. Nobody wants to talk about mm. 
when that went on, no, 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 no. Nobody wants to talk about that. See, nobody wants to wants to deal with that world. Nobody wants to deal with that. Oh, no. No, they don't. See, that sounds like a little too much like right. See, so we're supposed to sit here uh, and listen to their nonsense, listen to their their, their, their whining and complaining and and uh, oh my goodness um, see that's what they want mm -hmm. that's what they want that's what they want see this is why You can't get caught up in the okie doke. See, I, I'm not caught up in the okie doke. R R Roland's not caught up in the okie doke. See, I, I, I'm not. I'm not being hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok. No. Not row. Not row. No, it ain't happening. See, I, I know what I'm seeing. I, I know what's going on. No, and I, I, I know. See, this ain't it. it this ain't my first rodeo. American history will prove without a doubt that every time there has been black advancement in America, every time there's been black advancement in America, there has been an effort to roll back that advancement. That is the story of black people in America. And all the all oh, rolling, you playing the race card. Oh, I, all these white folks rolling, you a race pimp. You playing the race. No, I'm not. Now, somebody just said, I don't vote. I don't vote is pointless. Now, that's stupid. Now, it's stupid to say being voting is pointless. We know that's a lie. Because if you don't vote, that's pointless. You stuck on stupid if you don't vote. Y'all need to understand what's going on here. Y'all need to understand that what we are witnessing, we are witnessing this whole, we want our country back. Y'all y'all got to give us our country back. We, look, we, we, we mean... I mean, we, we, we didn't mean that when we elected it, we didn't mean that we, we didn't mean this stuff to happen. We, we, we didn't mean for this to happen. We, we, we didn't mean for, we don't know, you know, what y'all doing. Mm-hmm. Y'all just need to understand what's going on here. White folks are not confusing me. And yeah, you can sprinkle in some black people in there. Those, those little Negro preachers, those little black preachers supporting Trump. You can sprinkle in some Hispanics. But we know what's going on here. <laughs> we, we, as we, this is not, 
uh, an original movie. This ain't even a sequel. This is like Fast 7. We've been here before. Game recognize game. And what I'm saying is, if game recognizes game, then y'all better understand it's time to get in the game and bring the funk. This is Roller Martin Show back in a moment. Call 844-736-7474 and talk to Roland Martin next. We'll be back. We got adopted. Over the years, I came to know the full story of what really happened and she had us since she was 17. I know that she wanted us to have a better life. The way she saw things going, it wasn't a good environment to raise a kid. The fact that she did that just shows how strong of a woman my mother is. To just be given a chance to be who she wanted us to be, it's just, that means a lot to me. And I thank her each and every day for it. I wouldn't be the person who I am today. And I like the person I am today. I've learned that love is what makes people who they are. I've learned that love helps you make the hard decisions. Without love, you can't know nurturing, and without nurturing, you can't grow. I knew I was loved, and I was part of a family, so that was what's important to me. For more information, visit IChooseAdoption.org. I'm Christoph. And I'm Christopher. And our mom chose adoption. Can you tell if the surfaces in this kitchen are crawling with bacteria that could cause chronic arthritis? Listen. Can't, can you? You can't see it either. Wash surfaces, utensils, and hands frequently with soapy water while preparing food, especially when handling raw meats or eggs. Raw food may contain bacteria that can make you very sick or worse. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year, and roughly 3,000 will die. But you can keep your family safer by cleaning with soap and water as you go. Learn more about this and other important information. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. That's foodsafety.gov. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and the Ad Council.
time to get back to the issues that matter. Let's get back to the Roland Martin Show. Hey folks, welcome back to the Roland Martin Show, 844-736-7474-844-736-7474. What you have to understand is, and I'm trying to make this thing as simple as I possibly can. And that is, all you keep hearing is how angry America is. America is, that's why on Bernie, that's why Trump. No. They are angry because folks can't get their way. And let me tell y'all something. I I, got to deal with this here because... Y'all watch, y'all watch uh, um, Chris Matthews and y'all watch all these people and they living in La La Land too. Everybody love talk about Tip O'Neill when he was speaking of the house and oh, there used to be a time when they... When they all got along, there used to be a time when they it, that they could they could get together. Let me explain something to y'all. This is real simple. There are no moderate Republicans and moderate Democrats. You know why? Because conservatives branded the moderate Republicans as being liberal. That's what happened. As being liberal. The liberals got the moderate Democrats fired by saying they were too conservative. So what you have going on right now is you have the extremes going on. Far left, far right. So what's going on is the Republicans are mad that they didn't get their entire weight. Y- y'all hear him say, oh, they, 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 they sent the Republic- Republicans to Congress to get rid of Obamacare. Well, that was a simple problem. They don't have the votes. And so they go, see, we sent y'all there to get rid of Obamacare. You can't. John Boehner said, not Roland, John Boehner. John Boehner said the problem with these conservatives is if you give them 11 out of the 12 
things they want. 11 out of the 12, they will shut the government down for that one. 